Welcome back, friends. In this session, I'm going to show you how I created this oil painting from this image here. I just have one favor to ask that if you learn anything in this tutorial, press that like button, press subscribe, and turn that notification bell on. And if there's any other type of tutorial you want to learn, just leave that in the comments below. Okay, let's get started. All right, so I'm going to start off this design with the YouTube thumbnail. It is the size of 1280 pixels by 720 pixels. And I'm going to go over to um, my elements on, in my left panel, and I'm going to place a, an image on my workspace. It's one that I recently uh, searched for. It's the image of a mother and a child. And we're going to go now to our apps section and we're going to search for oil painting effect. If you don't see it just uh, in your search bar, type in oil effect. And this is what it looks like. It's a cute dog with the word effect, oil painting effect. I'm going to click it. Now, one thing to know is that uh, this app, you can use it three times within a 24 hours. So um, you do need to just make sure um, that you're not going over that limit. If you are, then you will either need to wait 24 hours or you'll need to purchase some more credits. So I've got this photo selected and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to come in here to the effect um, strength and we notice that when I select the image we get the image right in there as a preview and underneath it it has the effect strength and so I'm going to do three different strengths I am actually going to do um, point three first and uh, for consistency I'm going to turn on consistency mode and then I'll click on generate and replace the image. So I'll click that. And it will take a few seconds for uh, it to generate and replace our image. And this is what the image looks like at point three. I'm gonna add another page and I'm gonna go back to my elements and add that image again. Now, if we bring that image up and just compare it to the original image, we really can't see that much of a difference. Let me enlarge it so that you can see. Um, so this is the oil painting effect and this is the regular one. Let's grab this and let's bring this down onto our new page down here. And we're going to try a different strength. So let's go back to our apps and let's go back into the oil painting effect. I'm going to click off and then click back on this image. And I'm going to increase the strength to 0.6. And I'll click generate and replace. And just keep in mind, I've only got two credits left. So once I generate this new image, then I'll only have one credit left, right? Um, so let me click Generate and Replace, and that will take a few seconds. And this is the new image that is now on our workspace. Let me bring that up a little bit longer. We can see there's a little bit more detail with the lines, uh, the hands, and the eyes. I'm going to create one more page, and I'm going to bring that element back on my workspace. And I'm going to increase the strength one more time. So I'll go back into my apps, back into oil painting. I had selected 0.6 and now I am going to click my image and I'm going to increase it to 0.9. And I'll generate and replace one more time and that will use up all of my credits. And so we have gone from our beautiful image to this here, which is, I guess, a very drastic 
change. So that was uh, 0.9. So I guess it was a little bit too much and it, it really diffused the uh, image and it just looks like a whole bunch of blotched colors on top. But um, I really do like this uh, image right here in comparison to the original. Let's grab the original and compare it to the oil painting effect. And it is really, really a stunningly beautiful. Um, I think I think maybe if we had gone just 2.8, maybe it would have made a little bit of a difference. It's something you have to try, uh, a little trial and error, but unfortunately we only have three credits. And um, this uh, is the result that I really, really like. Let's take the um, first one, which was right here. And let's bring that down into here just to compare them side by side. So this was a point uh, three and this was point six. And you can see the transition um, to each one. Um, this one is obviously looks a little bit more like an oil painting than uh, this one right here. And the last one is totally off base. Um, you know, sometimes these apps work, sometimes they don't, um, but this is the end result. So I hope that you did enjoy this tutorial. If you did, and if you learned anything, please press that like button and subscribe. Turn that notification bell on so that you're notified when new content comes out. And if you want to learn more about Canva, join my YouTube channel membership. I go live every single week to teach my adult learners what they want to know. All right. I'm going to say bye-bye for now. Until next time.